Hi, I'm Dale with irreplacementparts.com. Today we're going to be doing a repair video on the Makita BDF 452. I want to show you a couple tricks you want to look out for. Today we're going to show you about the leaf spring. We get a lot of questions on the internet of where the leaf spring goes and a couple other tricks on how to get the field and the gear housing back inside the tool. Okay, let's take our battery out and let's get all of our screws out. Once we get all these top screws out, we also have to take a couple out of the back cap. And notice they've got one more screw hiding underneath that cap. Now we should be able to split our housing. If you want, you can take your tension off the brushes just by pulling those out to where the spring will catch on that brush. Now we're going to slide gear housing field and the armature out from the brush holder. This here is the leaf spring. We get a lot of questions on where does it go when they take the tool apart that will fall out and then we don't know where it went in where that goes it slides right in there and sits like that and that's what operates your clutch ring to where it clicks from position to position okay one of the things you want to notice is on the bottom side of that field there's a little notch right here that's going to go and match up in the housing on this little notch right there one other thing we want to go over is on your lever here that switches high to low we've got some springs in there be careful those don't pop out and you lose them they just sit in there like that slide over back onto that so we're going to get our armature back in in our field slide it through your brush holder We got our leaf spring back in. That's going to go over that notch. One other thing I've noticed is sometimes this plate will slide a little bit and they have to be lined back up to go inside the housing. You'll have to make sure your brush holder is where it needs to be. And then hopefully everything will slide back together. like that. Okay, now that we got the cover back on, we want to make sure our brushes go back in. Just have to pop that in. They'll make contact. Let's get our cap back on. Well, forgot to put that screw in there. Now we can put our cap back on. A good idea when you're putting those screws in to make sure you don't make new threads in the plastic and eventually strip them out. You can back them off a little bit until you feel where the old one was at and then twist it back in. That'll save your housing and the threads in there. And everything seems to be working okay. So if you found this video helpful and you have any other questions, leave us a comment.